Intel virtualization folders are out on the headquarters site in the FTP server. So if uh, you go to INET on your headquarters server, find the FTP root, you will find uh, two folders of interest. One is the TSV folder, and this contains the overlay for your uh, switches and uh, the matching ISO folder. If you look in the TSU folder, you'll likewise find a uh, conference server OVA along with uh, its matching bare metal ISO. So you have to have access to these folders. You can FTP to them, HTTP uh, to them, link to them, however you want to do it. So having said that, what we're going to do here is bring up, um, in this case, uh, we'll try both uh, Oracle VM, uh, the virtual box by Oracle, and we'll also use VMware Player. Uh, to, we're experimenting here, right? So under Player, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to uh, open. And at that point you want to go uh, find the bare metal OVA file. And I've already showed you where it is. Go ahead and open that puppy up. Uh, and go ahead and import it. At that point, uh, you're going to want to visit the settings for this uh, virtual machine. And there's a couple of areas you're going to want to check, obviously. The configuration, the OVA file, calls this information out. But uh, there's nothing that says you can't go and modify it, uh, tweak it a bit. You may want to change the memory depending on the size of the application. Uh, you may uh, want to look at the network adapter settings for your virtual machine. This one we're going to attempt uh, to get working with a bridge connection. And of course, if you were to turn this machine on, how it would fail because it has no um, operating system. So what we're going to do is say use the ISO image and then we're going to go f um, you know, scroll to it, find it, browse to it, or otherwise indicate where it is. I made a copy of it here. And let's just go ahead and bring that puppy up. So at this point, uh, we should be ready to rock and roll. We'll say OK. And then we'll go ahead and play virtual machine. At this point, uh, your VMware player is going to come alive and it'll begin to go through the configuration necessary to get this uh, this working. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let it run through its configuration here. Uh, you will be asked to set a static or DHCP. I'm going to say uh, static. I'll give it an IP address. Subnet mask. Set the default gateway, and then it will ask you to confirm. I'll say yes, and at that point, it's going to set up uh, an additional loopback interface, and it now asks for the IP uh, of the Shortel server. And at that point, it's going to go forward and create your virtual machine. After you complete the uh, installation, we'll present the uh, login screen, and you'll treat it just like if you had Telneted into it or SSH into it. So go ahead and log in as root. 
And at this point, uh, you're at the Wind River Linux uh, command line. You're going to want to make sure you know the correct IP and MAC address. Just uh, make note of the uh, MAC address. You'll need that when you configure the switch in the shortware director. And at that point, this switch is up and running. Uh, at this point, let's go add the switch. So we'll go to platform hardware primary, and we will add the switch to a different site. You can add it as a primary switch or as a uh, secondary switch to be used only in the case of a failover. Uh, here we're going to voice switch as primary and, and go ahead and we're going to add a new switch at the site Las Vegas. And from the drop down window, we will select the um, short gear phone switch. And at that point, uh, we'll just give it a name. And if it's in the same subnet, you'll be able to just uh, select it off the find switches. If not, you'll have to put in the MAC address and the IP address. Down here, configure the maximum phone capacity on uh, the maximum built-in conferences. Built in here is 250 and uh, upwards of 60 conference ports. We're going to go ahead and make this um, SG50. <laughs> and at that point, that's it. You've got yourself a fully functioning uh, switch. If we go back to Quick Look, we should see that our new virtual switch is installed and we're good to go here in Las Vegas. Click on it and we'll see we've got our switch. Um, so that wraps up the installation of a short gear phone switch. Mm -hmm.